So these are the measurements we are going to need for our mill pants. It's going to be categorized into two, the horizontal measurements and the vertical ones. With the horizontal measurement, we would need the waist circumference, the hip circumference, the thigh, the knee, and the ankle circumference. Then, with the vertical measurement, we would need the out seam, which would start from the waist all the way to the ankle bone or any preferred length. And the inseam would also be taken from the crotch depth all the way to the ankle bone. That is the opposite of where you have placed it on the out seam. That is where you're placing the other. And we'll do the waist to the knee. The crotch measurement, which is also taken from the waistline at the back here to the groin area all the way to the front part. We'll start by drawing a line which is perpendicular to this line and that will be made as our starting line. The next step is to mark our out seam measurement, minus 1 inch. And so the out seam is 37, minus 1 gives us 36. Then we add our 2 inch hem allowance to it. From the hemline, we move upwards by our inseam measurement. So the inseam was 26. We'll start from this point upwards and then mark the 26. Then we mark our knee line. The waist to knee measurement was 21 minus the one inch waistband. So we are getting 20 inches and so we would measure from the waistline all the way downwards to the knee line. Our waist, our crotch depth, the knee line, ankle and the hem allowance. That is what we have here. We are now going to input our horizontal measurements. We will start from the crotch depth. On the crotch depth line, I'll divide my thigh measurement into two. The thigh measurement is 25. Divided by two gives us 12 and a half. So on the same line, I would also divide my hip measurement into four. The hip measurement is 42. Divided by four gives us 10 and a half. I would as well mark it on the same line. And so we have 10 and a half. For the hip line divided by four, we'll take the same ten and a half to the waistline. We take off half of an inch. Now we are to connect this very point we marked here to the hip measurement divided by four, as we've marked on the crotch depth line. We draw an arc to connect the thigh measurement divided by two all the way to this center front line we have here. We divide our waist measurement into four. The waist measurement is 36. Divided by four gives us nine inches. Then we add our one inch seam allowance to it. We will take the thigh measurement we had here to the knee and also to the ankle. We will divide this mark into two and then move towards the hip side by half of an inch. This becomes the center of our knee. We repeat the same thing for the ankle line. And so you can just measure from the half mark to the edge here and then repeat the same thing on the ankle line. With this being the center, we will divide the knee measurement into two. 
the knee is 17. So 17 divided by 2 gives us 8 and half. So half of 8 and half will be on this side of the midpoint and half of it will be on the other side of the midpoint. And so it's going to be 4 and a quarter on both the left and the right side. When we get to the ankle, we'll do the same. The ankle measurement is 12 divided by 2 gives us 6. And so half of 6 would go here and half of 6 will come to the other side. Meaning 3 inches on both sides. With this mark, we'll go ahead and connect the dots. The next step would be to reduce the center front by about half of an inch. This is to avoid the bulging at the crotch area when the pant is worn. We then draw an arc to touch the side seam as we have here. This arc should not be deep, it's very very shallow. For the fly extension, I would mark one and a half inches on this side. Then I'd mark six and a half inches downwards. I'll draw a curve to touch this mark I just marked here. We'll go ahead and cut this. So this is what we have as our front pattern. For the back pattern, what we do is that we will place the front onto a bigger brown paper. We trace the crotch depth line, the knee line, the ankle line and the hem line all the way backwards. Then, we start by moving the crotch extension at the back here by 3 inches. We do 2 inches for the knee, 2 inches for the ankle and 2 inches for the hemline as well. And then we draw lines to connect the dots. We measure from the side seam all the way to the center front here and then we lift it to the top by about 2 inches. Then we draw a line from the side seam at the waist here to cross the 2 inches we just marked. From that mark, we'll move backwards by one inch and that one inch is for the back dart. We then draw a line to connect this new point all the way to the front crotch extension we have here. Then with an arc, we join this to the extension we have at the back. Let's notice one thing. We would measure the distance from the knee to the crotch depth here. And then we would just oppose the same thing to that of the back. If there is any difference, 
we'll cut it off. And so we got just about a quarter of an inch less. We had to refine our line to meet it. After we have drafted this, we would want to make sure that our pant will fit the crotch very well. What we do is that we would measure that of the front crotch and add it to the back crotch, add it to our waistband and see what we get. Then we compare that with the measurement we took. My crotch was 27 and so I'd measure the front, the back and then I'd add my two inches. That is one inch for the front waist and then one inch for the back waist. That is the waistband to see if I get the 27. The front scratch gives us 10 and 3 quarters. The back crotch gives us 14. And so 14 plus 10 and 3 quarters is giving us somewhat in the region of 24 and 3 quarters. 24 and 3 quarters. We're adding 2 inches to it. That is giving us 26 and a quarter. But we bear in mind that the waistband will be fixing. It's about 2 inches. But then after we've stitched everything, we would have just about one, one and a quarter, one and a half there about remaining. And so we'd make up for our crotch. We'll go ahead and do the cutting. To get our hip pocket, We'll cut another pattern paper which is about 15 inches long and then has a width that is almost equal to the hip measurement divided by 4 as we have here. We'll place this under our front pants pattern like this. And then we'll cut the outer shape just as we have for the pants itself. But then we'll measure a length of about 13 inches and that is where the pocket would end. We're going to take off about 4 inches from the top. Then we'll draw an S-like shape to connect this to that point. But then making sure that we get the pocket pouch itself from this side. Right, so we'll go ahead and cut this. We'll come and place this on. We measure it 2 inches from the waist here and then we do 6 inches downwards. Then I'll mark quarter of an inch from this side. At this point, we'll draw a line to connect these two points we have here. We'll trace this onto the pocket that we've cut beneath. Right, and so from here, we're going to cut this off. 